Hey welcome, here's a quick helper how-to video getting smart audio and telemetry working for your flight controller that came with your Armatan Tadpole. So this is the iFlight Success Mini F4 flight controller uh, that came with me Armatan Tadpole. You might have it standalone for something else or want to be able to F4 from iFlight or something similar. So according to the instruction manual, you just wire your F port to this NT2 pad and smart audio to LED. Configure it and input the CLI commands as stated and everything works. It's far from that and it doesn't. So F port would work with the controls, but I couldn't get telemetry and smart audio wasn't working with their configured settings. So Smart audio was quite an easy fix. Right, we need to connect this to the computer and beta flight configurator and go into the CLI. Once there, we're going to resource remap it by typing these commands that I'll overlay. Resource LED strip one, none. That frees up this pad. We then set that to a soft serial port with resource serial underscore TX 11 a08 that sets this pad as the first soft serial so once you've typed those in and had feedback that they've been remapped correctly type save and it'll reboot connect up and go into the configuration tab and enable soft serial save and reboot and once you load up and connect again go into the ports tab and underneath you'll have a soft serial one show up on the right hand side in peripheral, just select VTX Smart Audio in the drop down box. Save and now that should work. It should connect up in the OSD and show you in the SA submenu. So that's that. Right, on to the F port again. Just wire it up, input these commands in it, CLI as the manual showed, and it should work. No, it doesn't. Got the controls working when I bound to it on the NT2 tab, but telemetry would not work no matter what was done. So from what I understand, this NT2 pad is an inverted UART. That's all fine and dandy to get f port working. In doing that, they've created a unidirectional UART. So the controller signal will come down from the receiver to the flight controller, but telemetry can't come back up. There must be a diode or something in the circuitry. So what I've had to do, and I've tried this with the standard S port, F port connection to these tabs, and it doesn't work. You need to solder a wire onto the uninverted S port pad here, I'll overlay an image to show you exactly which one it is to the standard T2 UART pad next to the Smart Audio LED pad that we've recently fixed. If you've had it working according to the manual settings, you'll need to set Serial RX inverted to off. That will enable the controls showing up again and you'll have your switches and gimbals working. To get telemetry to work, just make sure TLM underscore half duplex is on and TLM underscore inverted is off. Um, once those are set in the CLI, type save, go to the configuration tab and enable telemetry just to make sure and reboot everything power down. On your controller, your X Lite, X7, X9, whatever, Delete all your sensors and search again for them and they should show up. Absolute nightmare that the manual wasn't straightforward but they put a non-bidirectional UART for F-Port when the very essence of F-Port is to have an S-Bus and a telemetry downlink and uplink on one wire. You know, it's beggar's belief really and given settings just to set up this LED pad as an LED resource 
when it's showing Connect TBS Smart Audio to it. The manual's a joke, and hopefully Armatan will put out a PSA on this, because you think, one wire for S-Bus and telemetry, I'll do F-Port, one, one tab, Smart Audio, the other tab, nice clean install, no hassle, I spent a couple of nights working this out, I'd be an oscilloscope wired up to it and whatnot to diagnose it, but finally got it figured out. This is how to do it. So I hope that's helped you out. Any questions, I'm always happy to answer with my skill set and ability. Thanks for watching and happy flying. Take care. Yo, Fale. Hey!